I think the word that I would use to describe Hickory Grove would definitely have to be family. We're such a family here. It's not a big school. Hickory Grove is just a, a huge family. There's a true family here. Like, if you need something, they got your back. I've been able to build really great relationships with some of my teachers, and I look up to all of them as great mentors. The teachers here are like very loving, and like the friends, like they can make genuine friends here. It has helped me so much um, in my walk um, with Jesus. It taught me about Jesus and fruits of the Spirit. This school is helping me become a great helper and wanting to give back to anybody. I want to be the same example for young men as I had when I was growing up through Hickory Grove. I am Brianna Sarman. I am a senior here at Hickory Grove Christian School and I am from Monrovia, Liberia in West Africa. The relationships that I formed over the years is like something I'll never forget. But the teachers that I talk to all the time, even with the challenging courses, I feel like they believe in me, which has made me feel more comfortable with myself and the relationships I form with my friends, that's very important as well. My name is Abby. I'm a senior here at Hickory Grove. Um, I've been here since kindergarten and I plan to attend Liberty University. One word that um, is just Hickory Grove to me is fellowship. I have been able to have really great relationships with my teachers here and with the students that are beside me. I grew up with a lot of students here and it has just been such a blessing and a really cool experience to get to see like my brothers and sisters in Christ grow in their relationship spiritually with God and grow in our relationships with each other. My name is Cameron Miller. Uh, I transferred to Hickory Grove my sophomore year and next year I'll be attending Appalachian State University to play baseball. The last like two or three years at my public school I would have 30 to 35 kids in a class with me and like I just couldn't focus and I wasn't getting the help and the attention that I needed from my teachers so Hickory Grove just did a great job of me being able to come in and get one-on-one -on -one help that I needed and, and having smaller class sizes to the point where my uh, needs were actually being paid attention to. My name is Colin Massey. I'm in the 10th grade and this is my second year at Hickory Grove. My name is Shania. I'm, in, I'm a freshman and this is my first year here. I told her that it's like a life-changing experience. Um, it's nothing like anything, nothing like the other schools we went to. It's like more like a family. And said how how he loved everyone here and how much it was a family. My name is Jordan Adams. I'm a class of 2023. I'll be attending Mars Hill University. They just helped me like be a better man and be a better man of Christ. Like just showing me the right path and what I should and shouldn't do. When I leave and when I come back, I can still come back to Hickory Grove because they put a lot into me, so I'm gonna put a lot back. My name is Jordan Phillips. I'm a senior at Hickory Grove and I've been here since preschool, so I'm a lifer. Being a lifer really enabled me to help grow both in my like spiritual relationship with God, but along with the people um, who are also in my grade. Um, our grade has a lot of lifers, so we've been able to grow both spiritually and just emotionally with each other throughout the past 13 years. And I think together, because of how long we've been together, we've really been able to form like a family-like community between those in our grade. Hi, I'm Jenna Linsmeyer and I'm 10 years old and I've been going to Hickory Grove since kindergarten. I know that I need to love everybody and I need to be kind. I love Hickory Grove's Christian education and uh, I wouldn't change Hickory Grove for the world. Hi, I'm Gabe and I'm nine years old. The fruits of the spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The one that really stands out to me is self-control because it teaches me how to stay focused on Jesus and not let Satan's temptations trick me. My name is Jayla Hill, aka Ja Hill. I've been at Hickory Grove since my sophomore year. My future, I plan on going behind the scenes for football and going into sports engineering. Number one, Miss Bean. Uh, me coming into my sophomore year, I was trying to, you know, pick up the pace from leaving boarding school, and it was kind of hard, but she looked out for me. She used to bring me um, breakfast, and then she would just be like, you got this, you know. When I got when I got assigned to go to Stover, she would make sure that I get extra time. She just told me, she just was like, you got to do whatever you got to do to get here. In the morning, you becoming a young man, so that's what you have to do. It's about sacrifice. You know, that's what God did for us. He, he died on that cross, so. That's how we got to act. I didn't know God like I do now. Uh, I actually had 
had a little bit of a, a situation this summer where I really, really grew closer to God, and, and that was all because of Hickory Grove. If I would have never came to Hickory Grove, I don't think I would have been able to find Christ as early as I have, and it's just been such a blessing to me. I'm very confident that I'm prepared to pursue a career and pursue college because of teachers like Billy Hutchinson, who um, have started the Colson Fellows Program here and AP Capstone Program. Being a part of those two um, academically rigorous programs have um, helped me be more confident going into college, knowing that all of this work that I've put in in high school is really going to put me a little bit ahead of the game. Coach Bachman and Mr. Hamilton, um, they've been like a really um, reliable source in like me and my family lives. Like they check up on us like daily, and um, they just always make sure that we're doing good. He cares, and he doesn't just say he, he doesn't just says that he cares. He shows it. I mean, he says it. Coach Bachman did take me in for a week. It was beautiful, and I remember him telling me. He said, "Ja, if I had to." choose one person to eat my vanilla Oreos with until Jesus came back, it would be you. He tunes in his struggles and uses them as motivation for us to do what we need to be, do to be successful. And then him taking me in my sophomore year when I went through that house fire, and he just showed me really behind the scenes of what he is outside of football. You know, he what football has made him as a man and what he's did for his daughters, he shows you a true fathership that a lot of boys my, my skin color don't get. And that was coming from a different race, which made it even better because it's like, we can all be together. You always grew up, like in elementary and middle school, uh, hearing about the Dominican Republic trip that you go on in your senior year. One thing I'll never forget is, it was the last village we went to in the DR before we left. And it was a uh, sugarcane village, Abby and I. We prayed over this woman, and after she left and took her food, and a like a small child, um, came up to us and she obviously like looked like she didn't feel good. I asked her, I knelt down and I asked her what was wrong. She had kind of a sad look on her face and she just wrapped her arms around my neck and I picked her up and she just clung to me. And I was talking to one of the translators after and he said that that's not uncommon because um, a lot of families there have a lot of kids and they work a lot to provide for their families that the kids just don't get much love. What they'll find in Hickory Grove is just the love that everyone has for each other and then the love that, that we all have for Christ. Your child or whoever comes here is going to feel loved and have a relationship with anyone they come in contact with. There's not going to be a person that's going to treat them badly or ill. They're going to find their people no matter what. It's going to be in sports, maybe in band, drama, but they're going to find their people that they're going to feel comfortable with.